now you have three distinct lines pressed down the center of your mask. The channel in the center and the two pleats on either side. So we're going to start by sewing this channel. You want a quarter inch seam that goes down the middle. So run about an eighth of an inch seam allowance straight stitch on either side of the center. Start and stop at the base of the pleats. When you get to the bottom of the one side, just turn it around and come up the other side. Again, you want the channel to be about a quarter of an inch wide. You have a quarter inch channel that's open at the top and the bottom, running down the center of the mask. Now, while the mask is open and flat, this is the time to reinforce that the hole where the flute is going to go in. So line up those edges as best you can. Pin around them to stabilize the two fabrics. This can get a little tricky since it's on a folded area. And then you just want to stitch around the outside close to the edge, but make sure you get both layers in there. I'm going to use a small, tight zigzag stitch. Not quite an applique stitch, but um, fairly small. You c it'll probably work with a straight stitch as well, but the zigzag, I think, gives it a little more strength, especially going around such a tight curve. I'm going around tw twice just to make sure that I cut all the edges. So, not perfect, but it, it is more stable. It holds those layers together and will hopefully keep it from fraying too much. So next we're going to make the pleats. These pleats work to expand the front of the mask, but they are also channels to hold zip ties to give it some stiffness. So where you've pressed it between those points, you are going to run a quarter inch channel straight along that edge. So just run a, sew a straight stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance and use this as your edge. Leave the top and bottom open. Start slightly below the triangle because that's what starts slightly below this angle because that's where we're going to be slipping in the zip tie. So we have our quarter inch channel open top and bottom. And it's sticking up towards the front. Do the same on the other side. So the next thing to do is to make the channel for the elastic all the way around. So we need to close these pleats. So you're going to overlap them roughly half an inch. Match up the tops as well as you can. It will not be straight across. But you're going to match them up with about a half an inch overlap and pin and do that for all four of those. Now that you have those pinned, figure out which side is the top, and that will be the side where if it was on your face, 
the hole for the flute would be on the right. So in this case, if this was on my face, the hole would be on the right over here, and this is my top. So if your face, if the mask is facing you on the outside, the hole is going to be on the left when the top is up. You're going to start stitching at the top, and remember we left that thing open. So where you see the center fold that you ironed, start. I'm going to put a pin there so you can see. We're going to start stitching right about there on that side of it. We're going to stop stitching quarter inch to the other side of it so that that leaves that top open to slide the zip tie down into that channel we made. So we're going to start stitching at the, at the purple pin. We're going to stop stitching at this inside yellow pin. We're going to stitch a half an inch, stitch a seam half an inch below the top edge to make a channel for our quarter inch elastic. And you're just going to sew all the way around with no starting or stopping or gaps. Even when you come around to the sides that we left open for turning, go ahead and sew right across those. We have enough to insert our elastic at the top. Be careful as you come across the pleats to make sure that you don't fold over the fabric that's underneath as you cross. You want it laying smooth on the inside of the mask. And as you come back around to where you started, you're just going to stop at that last pin and backstitch. So you'll see it at the top. I have that gap there that corresponds to the gap we have in our seam at the top and follows that line down into that channel. Along the bottom of the mask, we want, we want to make sure that the zip ties, when we push them through, don't just go all the way throughout the bottom. So we're going to put a line of stitching all the way across here start at the the bottoms of the pleats and the bottom of that channel in the center. So we're just going to do a straight line of stitching all the way across there. So start at the outside where your stitching stopped. You're going to start there and close that channel and sew right across the center channel. and finish at the bottom of the other channel on the other pleat. So it ends up looking like that on the inside. this on the outside and that's on the bottom of the mask. Now we're going to put on our elastic for our head strap. You should have two pieces of elastic. The long one is around 16 inches long. The short one is about 10 inches long. The 10 inch one is the one that's going to be our head strap. In the side where it's open, right where all those points meet, Insert your elastic till it touches that the base of that channel that we put in there. So
center it as best you can. And pin. Make sure it's flat going around the other side and put it in the other side the same way. Now to anchor this elastic, we still need to keep that channel open. So we're just going to stitch along the top edge all the way around, which will anchor these sides together. And that, but it will catch the elastic and anchor the elastic as we go around. So you're going to start at the top again, where you have the opening, close as close to the edge as you can get it. Start the same place you started before and stitch all the way around. You'll catch that elastic as you come around. Straight stitch as close to the top as you can. Ease it over the seams and over the pleats. And you're just anchoring one layer to the other. And as you come across that elastic, back stitch a couple times to make sure it's anchored well. And then keep going that around. And then as you come around to the other end, again back stitch over that elastic a couple times and come on around. And again, you're going to stop at the same place you stopped at the bottom of that channel, leaving that gap. So now we have the channel is clearly defined, top and bottom. Our elastic strap is attached. And we're about ready for finishing.